<laughs> oh, hey! You are no match for me! Ooh, yeah, you're real scary. I will kill you with bare hands! <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and welcome to Awu. Numero 61. Number 61. <laughs> Number 61. For the week of May 2nd, 2011. Happy 2nd of May. Whew. Okay, so, uh, kind of a weird week. We got a couple of retail releases. Nothing crazy. The Thor movie video game adaptation is out. Those are always really good. I'm sure you all remember Iron Man. It was great. So I'm sure that'll be good. Actually, we'll probably cover it. Also, the History Channel is releasing their quarterly game. This is, uh, History Channel, History Channel Great Battles Medieval. If you're getting the itch because you haven't played a new History Channel game in almost, you know, six weeks, then, uh, you'll be excited to have this one. I think it's, like, their 15th game for the 360. It's, like, the, the History Channel and Cabela's are, like, battling to release the largest amount of shovelware in the history of Xbox. I actually played the first History Channel game, and they fucked me. The achievement, uh, there was an achievement that was glitched to kill people with a handgun and to kill people with a knife, and I could never get them. So I have 900 points in that game. On Xbox Live Arcade, Moondiver is coming out. Have you ever... Is that, like, skinny dipping? That's, like, night swimming. Yeah. Skinny dipping, moon diving. It's the whole thing. You, uh, you swim down to the bottom, and you get the thing, and you get to bring it back. Like, they teach you in swimming class. Also, bang... <laughs> I can't, can't keep a straight face when I say this. Bangai, oh, HD, Missile Fury is out this week. So if you are on Xbox Live, be aware that uh, there are furious missiles headed your way. So be careful. Then I guess the big thing this week is that Call of Duty Black Ops is having their second DLC pack. It's called Escalation. It's ridiculous. It comes out tomorrow. It's uh, all zombie themed. It's got a weird, bizarre cast that makes no sense that they're all together, but it's very cool. Like Sarah Michelle Gellar, Michael Rooker, Danny Trejo, and Robert England, who if you don't, if, if you didn't grow up in the 80s, it's Freddy Krueger. Oh, and then, like, uh, John Romero was in it at some point, too, for some George reason. Romero. Or George Romero. Did I say John Romero? <laughs> John Romero might also be in there. I don't know. He, I think I read that he's at a uh, casual gaming company now or something. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, George Romero as well. I assume that there's achievements, but I couldn't find them anywhere on the internet. They haven't hit yet. So, instead, the achievement of the week has to be in Thor. Sorry. It is called Ejected. Consult my assistant here. Ejected. Rip the Jotun warrior out of the Frost Goliath's chest. I don't know what the fuck that means, but if you're ripping a dude out of another dude, it sounds like fun. Deal of the week this week, all all the Castlevania stuff on Xbox Live is like 50% off, so if you need some Castlevania swag, go ahead and buy some shit. And uh, I should also mention, since I talked about the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Escalation DLC is coming out this week, Black Ops is going to be on Games on Demand tomorrow. So if you don't already have that game for some odd reason, or you're t you lost your disc, or you're too lazy to walk across the room to put the disc in, you can just download it for probably 30 40 bucks. I don't know what games on demand usually cost. And then there's some demos. The Lego uh, Pirates of the Caribbean demo hits this week, as well as Red Faction Armageddon. That's about it. Take it away, Jack. So as far as news goes this week, over on the Gears of War 3 front, those of you playing the multiplayer beta, I know I mentioned last week that it kind of went open to the public, but that was only for people who had the, the beta codes. Before that, it was just people who had uh, Bulletstorm. Now it's open for people who had, or then it was open for people who had like the download codes, the pre-order download codes. Now, if you've been playing Gears of War 3, you can actually get more beta codes that you can give to friends of yours, or like more uh, multiplayer codes that you can give to friends, so you can bring your friends in who may not have pre-ordered already or didn't have bullet storm so there's actually like there's different things you have to do in order to get more codes like you have to play for x amount of time or get so many kills stuff like that i don't know the specific details but it's cool that they're doing that and opening it up a little bit get out there and uh, get your friends to play so ubisoft everyone's favorite french developer is uh opening up a brand new thing called ubisoft motion pictures that's right ubisoft motion pictures i guess off the back of the uh what was that uh prince, prince of persia movie they did well enough that they're like hey we like this and maybe we'll start making more movies and or TV show. Maybe we'll see some more Ubisoft stuff. Maybe we'll see a Splinter Cell movie. That'd be kind of neat. I wonder who would be Sam Fisher. Who would be Sam Fisher in a Splinter Cell movie? George Clooney. George Clooney? I could, I could see Clooney doing it. He's... Dustin Diamond? <laughs> no, not, not Dustin Diamond. And those of you who are anxious about the PlayStation Network, uh, Sony has come out and said that PlayStation Network will be returning this week at a limited capacity and in full capacity within the month. Yeah! Hope you, uh... <laughs> All you PlayStation fans out there, good luck dealing with all that. And uh, for those of you who are not PlayStation fans but have your credit card information on there, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, they're doing some stuff like they're giving free PlayStation Plus for like a month or something in Curiosity or whatever, or Quasity, however the hell it said. Curiosity, sure. It's uh, going to be free for a little while. Like they're doing some stuff to try to make up for it, but man, Sony's got a hill to climb. Anyway, uh, jump back on PlayStation Network this week. And that does it. All right, I'm going to go now and edit this video. Goodbye. All right, that's it. See you guys next week. Ta-ta.